The words we use have an incredible impact on what we believe and how we behave. If you can shape your words, you can literally shape your life. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a powerful story on the power of words and hopefully give you some food for your thought. Let's get started. Hey, if this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Aparna. I am a coach. Every week, I bring to you tips, tricks, tools and hacks that can help you upskill your life. If this interests you, do consider following me or subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as following me on my various social media handles. All the details are given on the screen and in the description below. So here's an incredible story on the power of words. Two friends, 8-year-old Ram and 9-year-old Sham, loved to monkey around the trees. Their favorite game was to climb high up the tree or trees or poles and quite literally hang from there, sometimes even upside down, just because they think it's fun. Their little brains never process that the branches from where they were hanging could break and they could get seriously hurt. One day, as they were goofing around a tall tree, a gust of wind came by. Their fathers, Ram and Sham's fathers, were there suddenly got scared for their kids. As the wind became stronger, the tree that they were hanging on to began swaying to the wind, rattling the leaves violently. Hold on tightly, Ram yelled his father. So Ram did exactly what he was told. Suddenly, he heard a loud scream of Sham falling from the tree and saw him lay on the ground. Apparently, when Sham's father felt the gust of wind, he yelled, don't fall, Sham. But Sham did fall. Both friends are in the same situation, but the results were totally different. Why do you think it is? Our mind relies on our internal images and it takes time to process negative images. The words that we hear and use for ourselves help us create those images. In the story, Ram's father has asked him to hold on tightly. So Ram has imagined himself holding on tightly. Whereas Sham's father asked him not to fall. So Sham has first imagined that he was falling and he fell even before he could tell his brain not to do what he's imagining. So you see, what we see ourselves, what we picture ourselves doing will eventually get done. And the words we use quite literally have the power to change that narrative. So what kind of words are you using? Take a moment here to reflect on the words that are frequent in your vocabulary whether they are serving you or defeating you. I created a video previously on the self-sabotaging behaviors and three villains that you must avoid. I'll link to it in the description below. Do check it out. And also take a look at these words, the com most common self-defeating words that we tend to use. That's it from me. I'd like to end today with this quote. What's your big takeaway from this video? Do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so very much for watching. If you like this video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.